we do, we have a deadline, and the projects that we have is to measure the slope of the ramp. Because we are, we are looking into, see how we can help the students with special need that use the ramp to have access to our school. Perhaps the ramp is too high, perhaps it's just perfect. We don't know until we do this project. In order for us to do the project, we need to find out how do we find the slope of the line. As you know, the formula for the slope of the line is right here. Another way is rise over run. Okay, now, we have two points over here. Point one is negative one, negative one. Point two is three over two. Using the two points and using this formula, we're gonna have to find the slope of the line. And when we find the slope of the line, we're gonna have to go outside I use this knowledge to find the slope of the ramp. The slope is also abbreviated as an M. M is equal to negative two minus negative one, negative two, over negative one, negative three. So it would be negative three over negative four, negative over negative, a positive, so the slope would be three over four. Any question? Point four over here. Uh, nine and one. Um, Jamie, can you give me two more points? Six and four. Six and four. Now let's find the slope of the line using those points because I just want to make sure that we all know what we are supposed to do. Nine and one. Nine and one and six and four. Go. What we are doing today is finding the measurement of this ramp. We will use a measuring device and a ruler to find the data that we need to find the slope. After this, we will go inside to, to determine if this ramp is too steep for kids with disabilities. Someone stay at the mic, that's the point. How many inches of feet? 27. 27. 27. 27. 27. Yes, that's why. Oh. Oh, Wait, bring it down, bring it down. Bring it down. I know what I'm doing, I'm trying to line it up. Here, mark the line. Now bring it to the floor. Bring it down all the way and mark it at the end of the ruler and start again. Mark the spot. Bring it to the floor. 
Now mark the top of the ruler and start at the mark. During the second step, we measure the dimensions of our school's rent. During the third step, we use information to calculate the slope of our school's rent. Now, during, the, in a way, during this step, we will be discussing our findings to make this party even more much better. We have simulated the act of half being a healthy and athletic to try to wheel himself off the road. So what do you think of the ramp of the school? Like, do you think that I'll be the ramp for people that have this ability in the school to come into school with them? I think that's a bad ramp because it's difficult to go up of it. It's like very, you need a lot of, you need to struggle a lot and a lot of help just to go up that ramp. You need like a lot of people because of the way it's, it's set up. It's very high. All right, what do you think, Daniela? I think I think exactly the same because the ramp, it, it, like the sides of it, is very is very dangerous for for anyone. anyone in a wheelchair because you could fall Even and it's fall. very high and whoever's going down can fastly fall to like another another place and that's very dangerous and and going up is difficult because the floor has a lot of rocks and it's like very you know and yeah it's, I don't know, it's a bad ramp. I think the same way because if a wheelchair person is, can fall out of their own wheelchair just going back down and it's very hard for them, they have to struggle too much to go up. That ramp is too big for one of them. Based upon our finding in this project, we recommend that our school's ramp should be rebuilt to make it more accessible for students with disabilities. 